I'm really sorry about this, but I gotta do it for science. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Tiny Seller's World, and today, we're checking out the Tyrannic. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are in New York, and this is where we're going to be spawning in our ship, and you can see, looks like the uh, Mardi Gras, or Mardi Gras, is right there. So let's go ahead and spawn in the Tyrannic. Alright, and here is the Tyrannic. Now, the Tyrannic is a fictional ship created by the developers of this game. Now, a lot of people wanted me to check this out, and I didn't really know how to do it, but apparently there's an in-game store instead of the store that's actually on the game page, and that's where you have to purchase this. You can't actually get it uh, from the actual game page. You have to get it from inside the game. Now, uh, the Tyrannic has five funnels. It's in the, uh, the Olympic class style here, and it's got some Cunard style with the... Uh, uh, ventilators on the decks, but it's mainly a, uh, a White Star Line Olympic class liner. And uh, yeah, we're going to be sailing from New York to Southampton. It's going to be the ultimate voyage of the Tyrannic here, and it also has two forward anchors as well, and tons of vents all over the deck, as well as gantry davits everywhere. So it's a well equipped vessel. Now, I'm not sure how big the Tyrannic really is compared to other vessels we might see later in the video if we're passing another ship, but it's going to be pretty interesting. And as you can see, there goes New York there. We are leaving the city for, um, for Southampton. So uh, here we go. Now, this vessel is apparently built under White Star Line. It's a legendary liner. Really don't know what legendary means. I mean, it doesn't exist. It never has existed. It only exists in this game. So, um, it's a little interesting that they have it under White Star Line and not some fictional line like, um, I don't know, a Tiny Sailor's World Line or something like that. But, um, anyways... Uh, we are going to head to Southampton. Now, this is where we've got to be careful. I've actually never passed through this channel before, but um, we really got to be careful of mines and things like that. And there seems to be a crate over there that has uh, a question mark overhead. Let's stop the ship. Let me just go over there. I want to see what that actually is. Let's quickly swim over here. Oh, interesting. Apparently, we've gotten tons and tons of money, as you can see. They're very... Very cool. I don't know how long this is going to last. I do want to get back to my ship. Anyways, we're going to go ahead, hop back on board, and uh, head to Southampton. So, uh, we are now making our way there. And I want to know what the top speed of this vessel is. That'll be pretty cool to see. Now, for people wondering, we will be sinking, and apparently we are sinking now. We've just struck a mine. Um, no! We've been hit by a torpedo, and there is that terrible, terrible submarine there. Anyways, let's go ahead and start pumping out the ship, and let's close the watertight doors. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've got a bit of a list on us here, but as you can see, we aren't sinking. We've got plenty of watertight bulkheads, which should keep us safe. It's interesting how we were parked there, and that, uh, submarine never took the opportunity to actually, uh, fire a torpedo or anything. I mean, I wasn't even moving at all, so... Um, that was a little interesting, but we got the sun going up. We do have a bit of a list on us, but, uh, Titanic had a list on its maiden voyage, so whatever. Um, yeah, we are heading to Southampton once again. Now, our top speed seems to be 22 knots, so not as fast as the Olympic class liners, which went 24. And, um, you know, that's understandable. We may be damaged here to the point where we are going slower. Usually that is the case whenever you're struck by a torpedo or you hit a mine for the first time. But we do have to watch out for mines at this point because if we are struck again, I'm pretty sure we're going to be sinking. We also do have passengers on board. I was trying to get across to Southampton and I am still trying to get across to Southampton without sinking. And then we're going to go sink the ship like we usually do. But sometimes things can happen where, uh, we go down, just like uh, when we were uh, struck by the, uh, the torpedo the first time in-game. That wasn't very fun. But we have to wrap around these rocks here, and uh, then we should be uh, directly heading towards Southampton. But um, I'm pretty sure somewhere around here... Yeah, you see those uh, little raised portions? Those are where the submarines like to just hide out, um, so we do have to look uh, carefully for those. And there's also mines placed around this area as well, so... It's good to look underwater as well for those. So, I don't see any, so we should be good for at least a mile here. Now, the Tyrannic has five propellers, uh, four outboards, and one center propeller. 
and they're all four bladed so that is very interesting it gives us extra propulsion but uh, apparently it isn't right now because we're damaged and we're only going 22 knots so yeah now looking at the top decks of tyrannic you can see all the nice details and uh, lots and lots of dome covers so the interiors of this vessel must look quite amazing but if we look inside there are no interiors because um there are no interiors in uh, tiny sailors world only promenades but that is understandable because they're tiny ships so yeah all right we are in the ice fields and as you can see the titanic has kind of stopped there uh, apparently it's just waiting for the ice to pass by or something along those lines um but yeah uh, i wish it luck and i hope it doesn't sink but it probably will depending on the person that is sailing it so yeah yeah that list doesn't look too great for the uh first voyage of the tyrannic now i should mention this is my first sailing of the tyrannic this is kind of a first look for me because um i've only spawned it in one time before that and that's when i was figuring out how to actually purchase it and um yeah this is actually my first voyage with it and uh what a sad one with the uh, list because of the torpedo we were struck with but um we are gonna get there and uh, it's definitely gonna make the news probably not the best uh news but uh yeah tyrannic comes into southampton damaged by a torpedo not the greatest thing to hear over the uh the bulletin so yeah all right, so now we are in the minefields once again. If we look underwater, we're going to have to look for mines, and hopefully we don't strike one because I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of us for sure. Now, it does look like we are one deck underwater here. I don't know if the interior would be flooded at that point. Pretty sure it wouldn't. Uh, I'm pretty sure the crew below decks are doing their best to hold back the water while we uh, head to Southampton for repairs because uh, we are going to need repairs uh, after that explosion because obviously there's a hole in the side of the ship you can't see it there because there is no hole that's added into the hull but uh obviously if a torpedo hits there's going to be a hole in the side of the ship but uh i digress the uh the ship is damaged and uh southampton is where we will repair the vessel oh i've just noticed that there's actual pools on the stern of the ship and a helipad so this must be a very very modern vessel at least uh in the 50s 60s or even uh, nowadays uh, maybe a historical rebuild of a vessel or something like that. But yeah, as you can see, this is a, a modern vessel, not like uh, a ship built in the 1910s to the 1920s or something like that because there's a helipad, of course. So yeah, now it is a bit foggy, so we're going to have to watch out for other marine traffic here. Um, yep, you can see a tugboat right there. So this is something new that I haven't seen before or I've just missed. I want to check out what those scrap yards are. Uh, and I'm wondering what happens if we actually sail into one of those scrap yards. So let's slow the vessel down. Actually, we can actually jump out of our seat here. And then we'll be able to take control of the vessel again. So if we sail into this scrap yard, the brand new, slightly damaged Tyrannic going into a scrap yard, will it give us money? What will it do to the ship? That is something that I find uh, a little interesting. Looks like just a dry dock here. So we're just going to slowly sail into it i don't know if we're gonna be able to fit but uh yeah i think this uh we're, we're drifting a little bit um and we're back i really don't know what happened there um but uh there's the titanic we're going to scrap this ship apparently and um we just got to get back to where that scrapping section was so it's gonna take me a moment so uh, excuse me for a second all right there's a scrapyard don't mind that the ship suddenly gained a list between then and now oh God, oh no! uh, that's just some temporary thing that may or may not have occurred based off my wonderful shipping skills anyways we are going to be heading into the scrapyard here just gotta figure out how to maneuver my way in um, it is quite dark, uh, it is night in this server, so that is to be expected, but let's figure out how to do this here. Alright, so I'm going to slow the ship down quite a bit, and I'm just going to turn it into the scrapyard, and we're going to find out what happens when we scrap this thing. And, perfect job, right there, and uh, just scraping along the side of the hull, and uh, that should do it. Now, what do we do? So it's in the scrapyard. I've fallen down between the hull and the dock side here. Oh gosh, no! I'm trapped! Okay. Um, so we're here. Now what? Um, 
How do we scrap it? Is it already scrapping right now? Is that what it's doing here? Is it scrapping the ship? I am very confused. If someone in the comments can tell me how this system works, that would be really appreciated. I can't see myself here, but, um... Yeah. Well, it seems like the Tyrannic will have to stay. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and spawn it in again, and then we're gonna sink this thing. All right, so here we go. It's, uh, turning day here, so it's going to be the optimal time to sink a ship. Just like this guy's doing with, um, the Poseidon, I would assume. Now, the one way I do want to sink this ship is by setting it on fire. You can see the oil rig fire just in the distance there. We're gonna sail our ship right through it, and we're gonna see what happens. So... That's got to be very cool, and the only time that we've really set a ship on fire is when we uh, sank the SS Rex, I believe. Um, and there goes the Costa Concordia in the distance, but yeah. And there is the oil rig there. We're going to go ahead and sail the ship into the fire and just see what happens. Will the ship burn to the ground and sink, or will it stay afloat? And uh, yeah, you can see the oil in the water, and uh, here we come. We are about to enter... The hostile, fiery waters. And uh, a nice sunrise as well as the Costa Concordia sinks in the background there. But uh, here we go. And we are in the flames. And we've sailed through it. And we are on fire now. Uh, yep, the entire ship is burning. We aren't losing health yet. Okay, there we are. We are losing health now. And the, uh, the ship is starting to die quite a bit. Um... I'm going to close the watertight doors, turn on the pumps, and try to hold back the fire and flooding as much as I can. A very interesting sight indeed. The, uh, the ship completely on fire now. Um, continuing to sail. I'm pretty sure everyone on board has been uh, significantly toasted at this point. Well, surprisingly, we survived uh, catching on fire, but um, I don't think so. We're going back for round two, and this will be the end of the Tyrannic. What is that ship over there? Is that the Titanic? Well, um, unfortunately, the passengers on board that vessel are not going to have a good time. I don't know if this person is going to like me very much after I do this, but um, we've got to do it. It's going to be a collision. I really hope they haven't spawned anybody on board. I'm really sorry about this, but i got to do it for science. Here we go. And there's the collision. And nope. That is it. I think this is the end for Tyrannic. Tyrannic is running over the Titanic. Tyrannic is running over Titanic right now. Oh my gosh. Is this going to be it? Are we going to have two sinkings right here? Somehow. Somehow we have survived. And sadly, that Titanic has gone down. I am so sorry. I had to do it. Um, but luckily it was a very quick sinking. From the bridge, it's just a very sad scene. Oh gosh, we haven't gotten the people off the ship yet. Oh well. Um, they've gone through quite a bit. I think they'll be able to survive a sinking. Um, I mean, we've sunk another ship, so, um, it just goes to show. And, uh, we're gonna have a wonderful sunset as well. Beautiful sunset as we enter into the flames. Uh, hello oil rig. Um, and masses of oil. We are now burning. And uh, will this immediately kill us? Or will we have a chance to get away from the oil rig? Oh, we will. We will have a chance. Just barely. And uh, this should be it. I think we'll... Yep, there we go. The ship is going down and it is on fire. Very, very cool. Now the fire seems to have gone out. But the ship is going down by the stern. You can see the Mardi Gras has pulled up along with the nomadic or traffic there and uh yeah the stern is going down on fire there you can see the water is quickly filling the vessel and i find it humorous that people are in the pools right now as the water rapidly floods the uh deck actually it's oil flooding the deck there a mix of oil and water but uh yeah we are going down pretty quick here by the stern sinking into the fire which is really cool and uh yeah it is going down very quick here um, it's actually beginning to, uh, pitch up quite rapidly. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do in this situation. Oh, there's my face. Like, if I position it like this, it just looks like the, uh, the face is on the funnel. And speaking of the funnels, um, I think one of them just collapsed. Yes, they did. So now we have four funnels. And, uh, a longer stern bit without funnels. But, yeah, another funnel has collapsed into the water there. Kind of missed it, but I saw the ship move. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump off the vessel. There we go. 
And now we can actually watch this go down from off the ship. And it looks like the power's gone out. I'm pretty sure it'll come on and then go off one final time. There it goes. There goes a funnel, and the ship is pitching up rapidly there. Just angling up pretty high now. It's roughly 30 degrees at this point. Yep, there goes the power. There goes another funnel. We've got some pretty heavy waves here now, but um, as you can see, Tyrannic doesn't look so great anymore. And you can see the uh, modified Mardi Gras pulling up to the scene as well. And it looks like the power has finally completely gone out for the vessel. And um, let's try to hop on board. There's a lot of people in the water, but if we hop up here, we can actually stay out of the water and stop going underwater with each wave. But um, yeah, we can actually see the ship go down. There's only one funnel left. And uh, it is about to go under as well, as we will see in just a moment. There it goes. It just falls into the sea. And all these people are somehow holding onto the deck. Um, good for them, though. And, yep, the bridge and superstructure is about to go under. I'm just going to hop over one more, just trying to get onto the hull here. Very sharp bow as well. Uh, it'll cut through the waves very nicely there as we... We're seeing earlier while it was still sailing somewhat but um yep going down bridge is on fire now underwater on fire underwater and yeah it's gone now um but this is the end here all right i'm jumping off the ship and we're just gonna watch this thing go down here actually let's hop on to the modify mardi gras uh, let's see is there a passenger thing there we go and uh yeah you can just see the silhouette of the bow there slipping under the waves there goes the ship and uh, let's move on to the britannic because that got a massive update recently so i want to check that out as well all right and here we have the britannic in the white star line livery this is how we're going to be sinking the ship we're actually going to be doing it at night now we did sink the britannic earlier a few videos back i'll have a link in the top right corner to that but uh, this time it's got a whole new lifeboat launching system i believe or the cranes or the davits i mean actually swing out and they lower the lifeboat so that's going to be really cool so uh, let's get out to uh, some deeper water and sink the vessel all right this should be good so we're going to go ahead press x and uh, let's do sink by simulation so there we go we've got the explosion right on the bow of the ship now it should continue forward motion if we're going for an accurate sinking which we are which is very good i'm glad to see that's updated there um, I don't believe it was like that in the, uh, the last episode when we checked out the Britannic. But, uh, yep, it is going down and going down correctly. But the uh, cranes or the, uh, the actual motorized davits, the gantry davits, aren't actually swinging out. Um, I only saw one lifeboat launch, which is interesting. And the ship has stopped moving. So, will those gantry davits work? All right, there we go. So, the gantry davits are working. Um, that is very cool. So they are actually swung out. So they've swung in there. And they're doing their job really nicely. We've got a flare being launched there. The ship is going down. I'm going to hop off the vessel now. And uh, what a beautiful job with that little animation stuff there. Now, another ship I would like to see redone would be Oceanos. Uh, obviously, as most of you know, I'm a really big fan of the Oceanos. Uh, and I'm working on my own documentary about it. Uh, that includes survivor interviews, but I'd like to see them re-upload uh, the Oceanos onto the game. And there goes the funnel there, because there are some inaccuracies to the Oceanos in-game. But, uh, yeah, this is very cool here to see on such a small scale, this whole system actually running. And, uh, yep, there it goes. The Botanic is going down rapidly, and um, they're actually still lowering lifeboats, and the, uh, the forward funnel's already collapsed. There goes the second funnel. And, uh, yep, it is going down very, very quick. Look at that shot. That is just amazing there. To see the Britannic just angled up like that. The lifeboat's still lowering while the deck is going under. Working to the last, those crew members. And there goes the third funnel. And then the fourth funnel is last. But, uh, ship is going down and going down quick. And we'll be able to see the wreck in this. It's actually going to be hitting the bottom soon. And, uh, this is actually a very accurate sinking. Because you can see it's actually in shallow water. And there it goes. It's just hit the bottom. You can see there's the wreck. Not on its side. But uh, upright. And uh, very, very cool. You can see that the air is escaping there. And uh, yeah. Alright guys. If you enjoyed this make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.